Hey guys, welcome to mail time. This is the first of many videos of this kind, so if you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you are interested in purchasing any of the products I show, please use the links in the description, which give me a small commission and it doesn't cost you anything. That being said, let's get right into it. First off, let me show you the big stuff I ordered. Unfortunately, I was too excited to open them, so I forgot to press record on the camera. This is an Hentai branded oscilloscope, which is a Chinese brand, but so far I don't have any complaints. It even has more features than the Rigel I used before. Its big screen is one of the things that I really like. The scope comes in 70, 100 and 200 MHz versions, but it's all pure marketing as the hardware is all the same, so I purchased the 70 MHz version and hacked it to 200 MHz. This was actually quite easy, as it only required changing a file name on the root of the system. Next I got a hot air rework station. The hot air part works really good as it uses a pump, instead of those crappy ones that just use a weak computer fan. The soldering iron does the job, but it's not that great. I might buy a proper Heiko replacement handle in the future. I will do some modifications to this station, so that the heating element turns off when I lay the handle in the support. This will be done with a reed switch and a magnet. I will also try to use the inlet of the air pump to make a desoldering gun. I also got a 30 volts 5 amps variable bench power supply. I disassembled it to check the quality and it seems very good for the price. The user xjet here on YouTube got a similar one, but the quality of the insides of it was very low, so I was happy to see that the manufacturer fixed these issues. Alright, so now for the small stuff. This is a Nexion screen. It is a touch screen that has its own IDE and is very easy to program. It communicates to the microcontroller through serial, so it only needs to be connected to RX and TX and have a common ground. It works with 5V and comes with a small micro USB breakout board, so you can power it that way. Next I got two SD card models for the Arduino, which are great for data logging applications. In the same package I also got a 2004 LCD screen, so 20 characters by 4 lines. These are solder balls, which are used to solder BGAs. Not sure if I will ever use them, but if I ever need them, I won't need to wait a month to get them. This is a small 0.96 inch OLED display and it has 128 by 64 blue pixels. It interfaces to your microcontroller via I2C. Here I got a joystick which consists of two variable resistors for the two axes and one switch. In the same package, I also got these 8-bit shift registers. Next, I got two rotary encoders, which are nice to navigate through user interfaces in conjunction with a screen. I 
I also got these two NRF24L01 modules and I ended up ordering some more as I plan to make a remote control for my house which will control the heat, irrigation, lights, gates and some more stuff. So these will be used as a mesh network. And these are two lithium charge and discharge controller boards. This is a graphic LCD which has 84 x 84 pixels and blue backlight. It is known as Nokia LCD since it was used in old Nokia cell phones. These are isopropyl alcohol wipes. I use these to clean the flux from boards. Included were two fancy rubber bands. I'm not sure why, but I guess they will come in handy at some point. This is a refillable bottle with a pump. It was supposed to be white, but the seller sent me pink. I will use this for alcohol too. Next I got these carbon filters, which will be used to make a soldering smoke absorber. This is also a carbon filter and it will also be used in the same project. Keep an eye on my channel as it will be featured here. These are tiny neodymium magnets and will be used to turn off the heating element of my hot air station as I explained in the beginning of this video. This desoldering iron will also be modified to use the vacuum created by the pump of my hot air station. These are two USB soldering irons and will be used to make desoldering tweezers for SMD components. And I got to say that these work surprisingly well. They only take 15 to 20 seconds to melt solder after powering up. This is supposed to be Amtec Flux, which is a great brand, but it is fake. It seems to work good though. Here I have UV curable solder mask. I will start to make my own PCBs, so expect to see me using this stuff in the future. Next I got a small tin of acid. This is used to clean the oxidation of soldering iron tips. I hope you liked this video and if you did please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as there will be a lot more of this kind. I actually have 2 hours of unedited mail time footage so keep an eye on my channel. And if you are going to purchase any of the products I showed, please use the links in the description as it really helps me out. Have fun!